All right. Good morning, Dr. Jaffe. We have a customer that writes in and says that studies have demonstrated that quercetin can act as a thyroid disruptor. And a patient of that customer of ours is uh, concerned that repair guard may aggravate her hypothyroidism. There was a family history and some other concerns there. What this customer is asking is how can we be confident that the quercetin dihydrate form is different or safer and won't inhibit thyroid function? The short answer is about 30 years of experience that coercin and dihydrate helps restore healthy thyroid function and is different from the generic coercidins that at certain higher doses definitely need to be avoided. So coercin and dihydrate is different based on clinical observations. Coercin and dihydrate is based on 30 years of literature that we follow globally. And, and, and there have been multiple reports that uniquely coercin dihydrate helps thyroid rehabilitation, does not delay it or harm it. Uh, and then if you want, Jaya Srimani and I have published review article and then an updated review chapter on the different coercitins and why coercin and dihydrate is the preferred choice. And anyone who wants can contact us through drrusselljaffe.com or any of our online uh, resources. Uh, and request uh, a digital reprint, a PDF reprint uh, of that chapter on uh, coercidins and flavonoids and flavanols and why coercin dihydrate uh, is the preferred uh, flavonoid, the safer, more effective flavonoid, and the one you want, especially if you need to rehabilitate any part of the endocrine system, particularly the thyroid.